Eileen, can you comment on the different stages of pancreatic cancer? So how we think about uh, staging in pancreas cancer is what's the extent of the findings on, on imaging or physical examination. So for example, we see a mass in the pancreas and we know that that's pancreas cancer. We look to see whether there is uh, involvement of key local blood vessels in terms of the major arteries and veins. Mm -hmm. So that will help in determining whether the cancer is operable or not. So maybe for about 20% of people, 15 to 20%, there will be no obvious blood vessel involvement and we would say that's a localized, uh, potentially relatively early stage uh, cancer that's amenable to surgery. The next grouping is when the mass or the cancer remains localized on the imaging, but it is encasing or extensively involving key blood vessels, and we would say that uh, that cancer is likely what we call locally advanced or not operable. Uh, for a subset of patients that fall into that group, there may be a potential for shrinking uh, the cancer with treatments and possibly facilitating a future operation. And for about half of the patients that we encounter on the imaging, we will see evidence of spread of the cancer involving the liver, the inner lining of the abdominal cavity, or the lungs. And in that context, we would adjudicate uh, the staging of the cancer as metastatic or stage four. And just to emphasize that for all stages in which we encounter this disease, that it's, it's treatable. And I think that's an important point to Absolutely. emphasize. Very good. And Eileen, one last question. What combination of uh, diagnostic modalities do you like to use? We have nowadays CT scan, pancreatic protocol CT scans. We have high resolution endoscopic ultrasounds. We have MRIs. Any particular combination that you use in your patients that you recommend for your patients? So our, our main tool for securing the diagnosis is doing a dedicated CT pancreas angiogram. And that involves giving water, uh, having the patient drink water, mm -hmm. and then injecting IV contrast. And you can get a, a very fine and detailed look at the pancreas and its relationship to local blood vessels uh, in terms of the, the mass in the pancreas. And you can also get a surveillance of whether or not there's any spread uh, of the cancer. So that's our, our main uh, tool. The other things that we utilize would be an MRI scan, but not as the primary uh, method of uh, assessing the cancer. But sometimes if there's an ill-defined area in the pancreas, an MRI may provide further clarity. Blood tests, uh, CA-199, CEA can occasionally uh, add information. These are uh, markers that are secreted into the blood uh, that can be measured over time, although sometimes can be confounded, particularly if patients are jaundiced, exactly. so we have to keep that in mind. Uh, and, and the symptoms and putting the totality of the information from the presentation with regard to symptoms, what we see on imaging and the blood tests uh, leads us to um, a, a detailed understanding of, of what's going on. Perfect.